Stirk Orwell was the director at the time, and uh, he was like a father in, in the sense that he took care of us. He knew <clears throat> he would come to the airport and, and meet us, and um, I felt so at home. There was also, I don't know if you remember, Alice Poirier and some of the great people uh, of the Cincinnati Opera that made us feel like we were members of the family. So from 64 on, I looked forward every year to going to Cincinnati, either for the opera or for, or the, for the festival or for, for anything, because I had made friends there. I remember sitting in the, uh, in the pool, sitting because I can't swim, uh, talking to Beverly Sills, and Norman Tragel went by and said something to her, and after about five more minutes she said, she had to leave because she was singing that night. I nearly went into the pool, <laughs> you know, but unbelievable. Calm, cool, collected, and, went, and sang beautifully. That Aida was my American opera debut. And the animals will never let me forget it. I only remember after O Patria Mia, which I thought hadn't gone too badly, the hyena let out with a <laughs> and I thought, gosh, it wasn't that bad. And it sort of stops you cold <laughs> because the people then immediately began to, began to applause. But after that, I think I could handle any opera house in the world. I had, I had passed the, I had passed the test. <laughs>